Hello, Chariot Rider here, and once again, I am bringing you back to Subterfuge. So, in the past 24 hours, um, some good things have happened, but then also some bad things have happened as well. So, I'm just going to take a look at all these. So, let's start off with some good stuff. I drilled my mine. Um, it's right here at Sagan. Um, I'm just reinforcing that a little bit more. Currently, I'm getting... 16 Neptunium a day, which is not a whole lot, uh, considering I need to get to 200, but it is a very good start. Um, Nojo is currently getting 12 Neptunium a day, because, so Nojo drilled his mine first, and so since he drilled his mine, I figured I would drill mine. So that way, I'm not the only person with a mine out, because that just sort of makes you a target. Um, but anyway, so, let's talk about some other stuff. Um, so earlier today, um, the Cork Baller, um, he sent this sub to my outpost, which sort of caught me off guard. Um, I was sort of expecting his attacks to come up from the north and from these outposts, but I wasn't expecting it to come from Benthic. But I guess it does sort of make sense, considering that, like, it's not a whole, it's not a very big gap. Well, I mean, like, it is a very big gap, but if he has the drillers lying around, he might as well. So, um, he just sent those out, and hopefully I can, so what I did is, um, normally this would have taken this, um, I'm not, uh, I could have reinforced it, but that's but that's boring. Um, and I also wanted to get it up there, get some, my pirate up towards the front. And I figured that this was a good opportunity. So what I did is I set up my pirate to go and intercept this sub. So I load it up with a bunch of drillers. And just before it gets there, um, it will completely destroy the sub and head to Smithrand. Now, the Corf Baller does not know I will be doing this, so he will be thinking that he has taken this outpost until it gets right about to this point, at which point he will realize that he won't take the outpost. So, if he tries to reinforce it, then he will not necessarily succeed. Um, or he'll at least be too late for me to do anything. Um, I've been pushing into his territory a little bit. Um, I think everyone has sort of been doing that. I'm not sure how much success everyone has had. I mean, like, I know that um, Al Alanasi sent a huge amount of drillers, almost 200 drillers, um, to Gabler, and... I mean, like, it might be taken or it might not. I'm not sure, but I'm beginning to think that it will not be taken. Um, I'm not quite sure how long it'll take for that to get there. Um, yeah, it doesn't say. But so, that'll be um, interesting to see. Um, I'm not sure if he's lost a whole lot of other territory. But then also, um, uh, Silverberg, uh, he was eliminated by the Korf Baller. So, the Korf Baller sort of engulfed all of his outposts. So now, the Korf Baller has, um, three more outposts than me again. Um, but fortunately, I have help from Alanisi and Nojo, hopefully, to take him on, which... Currently, by myself, I'm doing a fairly good job. I'm assuming that his um, drillers are tied up elsewhere, because currently he has 500 drillers just lying around, and I'm obviously not seeing the vast majority of those. Uh, that's because I need to get a reactor really badly. Or there are some specialists which help you
with the electrical output so I'm gonna be keeping my eye out for those even though I don't really like them at all but I'll talk about them when they pop up so he's been sort of bringing over some drillers he'll probably make a counterattack his 40 some drillers from Ruik so that's gonna be quite a lot um, Woolwind is going to be taking a bit of a beating, but if I need to, I can just bring down some drillers from Kramer or up from Kyberg's, or I could intercept it with my pirate, maybe. I mean, like, all of my subs are getting a speed bonus from the Admiral, but I'm not quite sure that if I launched it from here all the way out here, it would be quite enough. So... That's good. That's pretty much my major plan. Um, he might try to push up towards the south, but he's going to have to bring a whole lot of drillers to do that. So it might be a bit of a waste of his time. And so we'll see how this plays out. Um, I, I think the second day of my campaign will be a whole lot more decisive on if I will bring down the Korf Baller or not. But if I am going to be bringing him down, I'm going to be need to doing some special or some interesting specialist plays. So I'll probably want to get my specialist into this right away because I've not seen any of his specialists, which they're probably all with his queen. Um, so if I can beat him with my specialists, then I can handle... Um, him having um, more drillers than I can. But once he brings his specialist and his drillers into the fight, he's just going to steamroll whoever he chooses. Uh, hopefully it's not me. Um, so yeah, that's been all that's happened pretty much. So, anyway, this has been Chariot Rider. I'll see you again in 24 hours. Ride on.